you were in a slightly different spot. You're kind of up where Wierenski usually is. He was kind of over for you. Did that just happen on the fly? Was that uh, strategized by you or was that by uh, Pascal or who, who made the call there? It happened on the fly. I mean, sometimes it happens on a break-in that, you know, it's uh, it's going to end up like that. And I, I find it better that uh, the guy just stay in a position instead of switching because, you know, it creates a lot of confusion if we start switching. And, uh, you know, I played that in junior, so I, don't, I know how to play. And, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I think in the first period, the power play was good. We had a couple of good looks. I think Birki hit the outside of the post. And uh, Patty had that one-timer that he just missed. So that two good chances. Uh, yeah, I mean, one for four, you know, got us going. That's what you want from the power play. So, uh, you know, we work on it a lot. We talk about it a lot. And uh, we, uh, we're we going to get better at that as well. Uh, hey, Jake, just you just touched on that about the confusion that causes. Uh, how much easier is it for the three of you guys, you, uh, Line A and Wierenski, that all of you guys can shoot and pass and play that top position? That's got to be key. I wouldn't go far with that. You know, everybody can shoot. But, uh, uh, yeah, you know, Z is one of the best defensemen in the leagues. And uh, he play, he's a really smart player. He knows exactly when to release the puck to the sides or when he sh when to shoot it. You know, obviously, with uh, Paddy Lina, he's got one of the best shots in the, in, in the world, and uh, he's a big threat no matter where he is. So, uh, you know, like I said, we work on it a lot. It's really important to get used to those, uh, those plays and kind of understand each other when some plays develop where the other guy's supposed to be. And I think we've been doing that so far since the game one in the preseason until, until now. But, uh, you know, there's going to be games, obviously, when we're going to struggle. But, uh, you know, it didn't happen yet. But uh, maybe in Detroit, we weren't as sharp. But like I said, it happened sometimes. Jake, right from the start, it seemed like you all had your legs. How much of a, a point of emphasis was getting off to a good start tonight? Well, you don't want to be missing legs against Islanders, that's for sure. And uh, we were on top of them. Uh, I was just talking to the guys that uh, what I really like about the group is that uh, when we were down against Seattle in the third period, we absolutely dominated that third. And I think we were the better team in the third period as well today, which is really important down the road. Even if you play with the lead or if you play tie game or if you lose, you just got, you got to keep coming. And uh, and uh, we, we were a lot better in the third period than them and uh, and uh, got to win. So, uh, you know, I feel like Patty only scores when I'm not on the ice. So I got I to gotta talk to him to, for, you know, what's up. Jake, I get the sense that the veterans in the room really like Cole Sillinger, really admire him as a young guy. How happy were you to see him cash in tonight with a pretty big goal there late second? Yeah, he's, uh, I think, more, more important than the points or the goals for him is his two-way play. You know, I said it before, he's uh, physically very mature. And uh, to play in the center in this league, that's uh, that's what you got to be. And he's very responsible, and he's a really, very uh, good player that has a high IQ, hockey IQ. And, uh, you know, it's nice for him to get rewarded. It was a great play by, you know, by Gavrikov. And uh, like I said, we create a lot of chances. Uh, they had a little momentum in the second period as well, but uh, we did a good job to shut it down. So it's uh, it's a uh, you know it's a long season, but uh, those are the right steps uh, what we got to make to to become a better team. I think we've asked you a little bit about this before, but that, that net front roll on a power play can be sort of you know unforgiving. Uh, but Boone plays it you know without complaint, and then has been able to kind of cash in as well. Just how important is it to have a guy at the front there that can kind of do the different things he can do, and uh, not just be standing in front of people, but also make some plays happen with his hands? Yeah, it's uh, I'm forgetting. You know, it's one of the most important parts of the power play. I mean, in today's hockey, if the goalie sees the shot, he usually gonna stop that. So uh, you know, Boone is really good at that. He knows what to do. He knows when to move out, and uh, and uh, you know when you look at all the good power plays around the, around the league, everybody's got a net front. So uh, you know, like I said, it's a five-man unit always because every every single movement and every single pass is really important, and uh, we are clicking, and uh, we're gonna keep uh, continue working on that. Is uh, is Cole Stillinger starting to loosen up around the room a little bit? As an 18-year-old guy playing with you know most. So the team is a lot older, or actually they're not that much older. Loosen up. Uh, tough to say. I really don't like to talk about what's going on inside the locker room. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, hey, there he is. No, no. Listen, guys. If you're gonna ask me about the player or about the coach, there is no way I'm gonna bash them. You know what I mean? In the media. So obviously I'm gonna say positive things. That doesn't mean you know. Uh, uh, 
anything else. But he's a great player. Yeah, he's standing right there. I'm, I think I'm done with this, with this conference. I don't want to, you know, get his confidence. Uh, so, yeah, thank you.